Hello! Welcome to Astronomy Lab. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a phone holder to hold your phone in place while taking pictures of the sky. Uh, while we have astronomy tripods that we purchased explicitly for this, uh, if you're at home you won't be able to use those. So today I'm going to teach you how to make one of those out of a Pop-Tarts box. Now, I previously showed some of you a prototype of this before with a few different cuts in it, and since then I've been working on an advanced version of this with little stair steps in it that will let you hold your phone at different angles. And so when we're all done, it'll hold it either straight up, hold it straight up like this, or at different angles depending on the kind of picture you want to take. And so that's what we're shooting for, pun intended, today. I'll show you that again. You can hold it like this at different angles. So we'll start by cutting off the top of the box. Save those parts in case we want to use them to reinforce the cardboard later. Don't throw those away. Uh, today I'll be using a frosted cinnamon roll Pop-Tarts box. While my favorite two flavors, and I know you're asking what my favorite two flavors are, uh, are chocolate fudge Pop-Tarts and uh, the cinnamon Pop-Tarts, this new frosted cinnamon roll is a very strong third place. All right, so I've got it set up such that I've got it clean around the outside. Now I'd like to carve in, I want to get it to the point where I got some stair steps to it, like this, and I'll do one side first. A little snip in, and then to the side. It's about a centimeter per snip. Actually, now that I think about it, it might make more sense to cut it all at once and then just bend them up and snip it. That, oh yeah, that actually works a lot better than what I was doing before. Now I cut this one a little bit more. And you want to save some here at the edge. You don't want to completely cut all the way over because eventually uh, you're going to want to put your phone in there and it has to have some structural integrity. It has to be strong enough to hold your box. So that's not, that's a little stair step, a little stair step pattern on this side and then just try to repeat the same thing on the other side. Here, I'll cut it in there, cut one centimeter in, go over, cut about two centimeters in three centimeters in, four centimeters in, five, then bend and cut those. Worst case scenario, you screw up your first one, you have to go buy more Pop-Tarts. And who doesn't want to have a delicious treat like that in times like these? Oh, the uncertain times we live in. Who wouldn't want a delicious toaster pastry? All right, you might need to make sure that some of these little notches are, if they're thin enough or thick enough to hold your phone, this one needs to be made a little bit thicker. And then you want to test to see if it's evened up. So that when I put the phone in, Let's get rid of all this business. When the phone goes in, does it sit level? And you can adjust the sides 
so that it's symmetrical if you wish. And it doesn't have to be perfect. You'll be able to crop it a little bit later to, when you take the photos to make your photos level on your computer after you're done. But for now, we're just trying to get something that'll hold it in place. Now, when you're using ProShot, I, you're going to want to be able to place or be able to see the screen. Uh, so here the, is the back of my phone. That's gonna need to face up to the sky. The menu bars of ProShot will be visible on these two sides, but you want to create a little hole like this so you can see the screen, to bend down to see the screen. So I'm going to cut off this spot where it says Pop-Tarts, again leaving a little bit extra here for support. And now I can place it in the holder and be able to see the screen by looking down and to control it on the side. So this works reasonably well as something that will hold your phone in place for a minute or so, uh, maybe longer, uh, even if you don't have a real tripod for the purposes of this. If you choose to, you can take a little bit of glue and reinforce those, you can reinforce these two poles a little bit. This isn't necessary, but it, if you want to, you can reinforce a glue by taking this little bit here, cutting it in two, cutting it in two like this, folding it with the cardboard side out, with the raw cardboard side out. Take a little bit of uh, this glue. Put it on. And then place it on the inside just to give make that a little bit sturdier. I'm going to do the same with this other side. Maybe when you're done, you'll paint this thing, decorate it. You've got some time on your hands. Uh, make it look nice. But eventually I'd like you to send me a photo of whatever it is you're using, whether it's one of the phone holders you purchased, maybe this Pop-Tarts box, or maybe it's Legos. One of Legos, Tinker Toys, PVC pipe, I don't care. But you need something to hold your phone in place for a few minutes while you do the lab. And here's my uh, completed version, which I could use to take a time-lapse photo of the sky, the moon moving across it, of a nice sunset, or later to take pictures of the stars for a few minutes. So that's how to make your own Pop-Tarts phone box. Uh, best of luck and let me know how it goes.